Now, from WPTV and ESPN 1063, this is I Think Financial Sports Live. But now it's back, and it's exceptional. We love it. That's right. The OBC is back, and we do love that. That's Tyree Smith from ESPN 106.3. I'm Theo Dorsey. Good evening. This is the I Think Financial Sports Live in the Orange Blossom Classic, Tyree. It's been a staple in HBCU football in Florida since 1933 until it ended in 78. That's until last year when the second incarnation of the college football showdown returned to the Hard Rock Stadium with Jackson State and FAMU. That's right, Tyree. Then they ran it back again this afternoon, and though it ended in a Jackson State blowout win on it, it was a crazy blowout win. The real story is the way that it brings families from South Florida and fans all together to watch some HBCU football. Show-stopping bands, talented athletes, and of course, tailgates. The 2022 Orange Blossom Classic had Hard Rock Stadium rocking on a Sunday. And for the Studsill family, this tailgate was symbolic of generational ties. We all have a love of football. My wife, my kids, grandkids, my brothers and sisters, and everybody. Henry Studstill started it. He was the first to play college football until there became a lack of scholarships. When my father said, uh, I had three choices. I had the bus, train, or airplane to get back home. <laughs> so, so that ended my college career because I didn't have the money. The pivot was to play in Europe with the Air Force. That's when my son Darren started watching me play and he fell in love with it and he started playing. And he went all the way from Little League to the NFL. Darren then passed it on to his sons, Palm Beach Gardens alum David Studstill, who suited up for his second Orange Blossom Classic for Jackson State at wide receiver. He came in um, as a walk-on, unrecruited, and to know that he's dressing out every, every day, it, it just shows to not only the day, but to young kids, the hard work plays off. And Devin Studstill, Gardens and Notre Dame football alum who cheered on his little bro from the stands. This is something that you can carry for the rest of your life, you know, so we, we're very excited for him. Each generation of Studstills grew up attending the Orange Blossom Classic. David is the first to play in it, sparking a new family tradition. Just so good to know that we can do this again, not only for our family, but all the families in South Florida who love college football, especially two historically black colleges. The Stud Stills celebrated a 59-3 Jackson State win, but what's most important, the torch is still changing hands. I started it, they took up the ball, and they kept going with it. Speaking to keep going with it, 59-3 Jackson State. They was making a statement today.